Hi there, in this video we will learn about the national income equilibrium by using the algebra and the equations and inequalities. So let's see that we have uh, to use algebra for this macroeconomic analysis. We have a simple Keynesian model that considers the three sectors of the economy. We have national income which is in terms of the expenditure approach, the sum of consumption investment and government expenditure here the consumption is having the autonomous part as well as the induced part a is considered to be positive so there is uh, a set of necessities for which there will be minimum consumption regardless of the income and when we consider the consumption which is based upon income then we have b which is a fraction which is between 0 and 1 and we multiply it with the income which means that a part of the additional income will be spent for consumption which is the induced consumption. Then we have the endogenous variables they are 2, y and c because they are determinable by using the given information that is this equation and that equation. Then we have exogenous variables that are determined from outside the model i naught and g naught and they are the autonomous investment levels and the government expenditure which is also considered to be autonomous second is the behavioral equation yes it is which shows the behavior of the consumption with respect to income now we can substitute all of these values that is this value and that contains the remaining information that is the parameter a and b so instead of this c now we are going to write the value of c which is this and then comes simple algebra will, which will allow us to solve this for y and y star is found to be equal to this you can pause the video and you can view these uh, simple steps and there should be a parametric stipulation for it because it's national income so it should not be negative so b should not be equal to 1 as well uh, because if it is equal to 1 then there will be 0 in the denominator making this an undefined value so the most undesirable case is that when b is equal to 1 so we negate this thing with the help of this restriction and then we have equilibrium level of other endogenous variables that is consumption and we have to find out c as well so simply by putting the value of y status here we will get the value of c status now again simplification is done you can pause the video and see that this is lcm and after that there is cancellation of some terms so here we are the equilibrium level of consumption and it is equal to this expression again the parametric stipulation that we should not be equal to one holds so y will be defined if b is not equal to one so this was the equilibrium level of consumption and equilibrium level of national income that we found by using simple algebra and in this way we can do the national income analysis and find its equilibrium values under the Keynesian model. Thank you.